worked in the petty school, washing dishes, scrubbing floors, and ultimately graduated from Colgate University. He married the preacher's daughter, and they had, and they had eight children. My father was the oldest of those children, and uh, of course, uh, he was somewhat precocious, succeeded very well in school, became a professor in physics and math at Iowa State University uh, in Leeds, Iowa, about 250 miles from here in Chicago, not very far. He had a number of graduate students, and he, they were trying to solve mathematical problems. And being a Bulgarian, he, he decided that he was the man that solved these problems much more rapidly and automatically. And so he spent the next four or five years and developed what is called now the first electronic edition computer, which he first received recognition for, I believe, in 1973 in Bulgaria with the Serial Methodius Award. So he was very proud of that and always felt very closely aligned to the Bulgarians. There's a new movie that's being produced and will be released in about uh, the next month or two about my dad. I have a three minute clip that I'd like to show you. It's called Anna Nassau and Anna the Computer. starts a flash of genius that introduces something entirely different. In 1937, a physics professor in Iowa had just such a eureka moment while drinking a whiskey and soda in a roadhouse bar. He imagined something unlike anything else in existence, a digital electronic computer. Each of the billions of computers today is traceable back to his original invention. You'd think the inventor of the computer would be as well known as the Wright brothers, Alexander Graham Bell, or Edison. But he's not. His ideas may have transformed the world, but they never made him rich. This is the remarkable story of John Vincent Adanasoff, the most famous inventor you've never heard of. Well, a little back over my life, I think I, uh, I was almost born in the computer. I was five years old when I started school, and after about a month, my mother says, let me hear you read. My mother heard me read, and she says, I see I will have to teach you myself, or exact words. And uh, she did. After a month, I took off on my own, following her advice. Uh, I, I, had, I had an interest in uh, calculation from my earliest days. My dad uh, <laughs> felt being an electrical engineer that he needed another slide rule. He really didn't need one. So the slide rules left for me. And in, in a week or two, I can do what the ordinary problem saw the slide rule. But this didn't satisfy me. I had to understand how that slide rule worked. The computer goes back to, I suppose, uh, abacus and pencil and paper. But when you go from mechanical to electronic, that's the huge jump. And I knew that I had to build a computer. And I, I, I was shaken when I realized that that's what my future was. I, didn't, I wasn't enthusiastic about it. I didn't want to do it. But I knew I had to. And I knew that I had the means. Some way I felt as if I had any total means to do that. And then uh, we had the Nassau Ferry computer, which was just comes out of almost nowhere, out of the cornfields of Iowa, is this inventor who figures out for the first time how you can solve problems using binary logic. 
and that is what has led to the revolution in digital computing. I would like to offer this as a challenge for you students, and maybe even for Bulgaria. Let's see if you can replicate what my man did. I'm sure with a little Bulgarian perseverance and hard work, you can achieve that. Thank you very much.